Bureau of Prisons, is that right? That's correct, sir. Uh, you came from, you used to run the correction system in Oregon, right? That's correct. Yeah. Oregon um, legalized drugs, is that right? That's correct. Your, your Oregon's about to reverse that, is that correct? Senator, I'm not familiar with the policy proposed to reverse that. Oh, you just ignored Oregon? Oregon still has a very special place in my heart, sir. Okay. You, you haven't read any of the articles about the reversal? I haven't, Senator. You don't know anything about it? Correct, sir. Okay. Wow. Um, you're in charge of implementing the First Step Act, Director? That's correct. How many criminals have you released under the First Step Act? Um, so, First Step Act for the overall release since the initiation of the um, uh, First Step Act is, I have that exact number in front of me. Um, you don't know off the top of your head? Sorry, Senator. Um, so 70% of those that were released, uh, we have about 30,000 individuals that have been released since the passage of the First Step Act. All right, so you've released 30,000 criminals under the First Step Act. Okay, and how many of them, when you, when, before you released them, did you contact any of their victims to say we're about to let this guy out? Uh, Senator, it's my understanding that that notification happens through the U.S. Attorney's Office, but I will check into that and get back to you. You don't know? Senator, I don't. You ha have you followed up with the U.S. Attorneys to say, do you have a system to say, hey, we're about to let this guy out? W would you, you know, we want to be sure the victim's contacted? That's correct, Senator. Wow. Okay, of the 30,000 criminals you let free, how many of them have come back? have uh, committed a crime again or somebody else so that number is one that we're still looking at um as it relates to the recidivism rate for those that were released on the first step act you don't have any idea no senator you don't have anybody at the bureau that can count I don't mean to so let me get this straight the first step act was passed in 2018 this is 2024 am i right so far that's correct that's six years and in six years you've let 30,000 criminals go right that's correct. And you don't have the slightest idea how many of them committed another crime and came back? I don't have that number in front of me. And you answer. run the Bureau of Prisons? That's correct. And oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jenna Peters at the Bureau of Prisons and her colleagues released 30,000 criminals, all of whom are there for a reason, okay? They, they didn't just go to prison for a free, free toaster. Too long to hide their head in a bag, Director. But what percentage are coming to work every day? Uh, I, the percentage is quite high. I don't have the exact. You don't number, know, but the super, well, maybe there's your problem. The this, is, this is why people. This is why people hate government. Chief White, thank you for that introduction. And you know, uh, that's right. We're uh, we're about to talk about what's going to happen now. You know, uh, you're making historic progress here. Last year, the United States had one of the lowest rates of all violent crime of all violent crimes in more than 50 years. Murder rape, aggravated assault, robbery all dropped sharply, along with burglary, property, crime, and theft. And it matters. It's a top priority for my administration and for me. You know, uh, not a single person on the other team voted for. Uh, we provided $350 billion. $350 billion. You know, and uh, the fact is that... Uh, we find ourselves, we could use $350 billion, $350 billion, you know, and uh, the fact is that uh, we have the largest federal investment in fighting crime. Let's be very quick. Look, if you ever wonder why 50% of this country doesn't vote, for one, have nothing to do with the president, spending 10 minutes talking about the technology of a speakerphone. There is no evidence. This entire thing is built off of a lie. Let's get back to work, and I hope that this will be the end of this um, horrible experiment. So uh, what we saw, I think, was a rather embarrassing spectacle. I did not know that that was the devil's technology, but apparently it is. Some have tried. There is nothing like this out there. So it's time to call a spade a spade.